early morning at the campsite outside Etosha. We'll try and get an early morning into Etosha today, that would be nice. We have a beautiful campsite here. Apparently we weren't supposed to park on the grass and the young manager guy had a little small little temper tantrum about it. But um, other than that the place is very nice. The owner needs some or the manager needs some serious management skills and people skills. Um, apparently cars aren't allowed on the grass. December and completely empty campsite and this is how it's been so far. We've only stayed in two campsites. We'll see what Itosha looks like from now. We're the only ones. Ah, oh, there's one other couple Right down the end, nobody in the chalets or the huts that they've got here. This is the camp dog who guarded our car the whole night. I drive through the signs and stuff, and then start stepping. We found a nice place to camp in Namutoni at Itosha and we're going to mark our spot before we go on a game drive with a few of our items and George is going to do an Andrew St. Pierre White style privacy tent erection <laughs> there we go and so we'll put a few things out so that our campsite's still ours when we get back Tosha Pan, Two Palms Waterhole, now Lone Palm Waterhole. No animals here at the waterhole, I don't think, but there are some good news at the entranceway. Teenage. A herd of news, wildebeest as we call them. These are good news, all standing under a tree behaving themselves, and uh, we've already seen a lion. 100 meters out of camp. A lioness looks like she might have been hunting, so we waited a while, but no luck. Hopefully, we'll see her later. It's kind of such a big one. Yeah.
Here we are sitting in Etosha at Namatomi Camp in the rain. One of the few times a year that it rains here at Etosha and we managed to get lucky by being here. There are only, so far, three other sets of campers other than ourselves. <laughs> nice empty campsite. There's an all-night floodlit waterhole which we will make our way to later if the rain stops and there's a lioness with a kill up against the fence about less than 100 meters from us. Monday morning on Etosha Pan and we've taken a game, an early morning game drive. It's not so early anymore. We've been on the road for a bit and here we have the silly hyena taking a bath in the pan and while he's in the bath he's looking out for a meal as they are often doing lots of good news and newbies baby news all crossing the grassy plains I told you not to smile at them, Jax. They're running away. Hello, boys and girls. Mommy has a kill in the tree behind to the right, and they might want to go for some more lunch. They had breakfast already and these two youngsters have nice full bellies and panting in the heat and they're going for some brunch now. Today the sun is out in full force. We've just got back from a nice long game drive. We, we left early this morning so as to get a nice long drive in and we're settling in for a few hours, going to make a nice brunch and hide from the sun for a while and we'll head out to the well we'll head up walk up to the water hole just now now after lunch there's a viewing deck and a water hole in we're in Namatoni camp and we're going to go and have a look and some of you have been asking for selfies of the video videographer and that's me and George, George has gone off to wash some dishes before he puts the meat on for our brunch. And lunch is served. This is probably going to be our main meal of the day. School pie, school pie keys. And uh, as George mentioned when he was cooking the school pie keys, thanks Wendy Tibbets, uh, you thought they were real little t tortoises. But meanwhile it's bits of liver wrapped in bacon. And uh, we, we have a laugh about Wendy every time we have school pikeys. Cheers, Wendy. You'd love it here. Crusty old jet boil. Quick water boiler, a minute or two. Some pudding for after lunch. And when we're not driving, doing camp chores, game drives that we can relax with a game of coffee and Chinese checkers otherwise known as bollocks or read a book and this is now the place to be we've just spent the last 10 minutes 15 minutes in there and now we're going to head off to the oh, I'm going to head off to the viewing deck and then we'll come back and do some reading after all, this is Itosha in the summer. Hmm? We're viewing deck this way. I'm nice and cool from being in the swimming pool. If I hadn't been in the swimming pool, I wouldn't be a happy chappy. That is the old fort, built I think in the 1920s. And then broken down by the Ovambos and then rebuilt on the same spot. 
this could be a nice place to spend the hot, some part of the hot hottest part of the day nice cool thatch and good view over the felt and the water hole at the moment birds ducks news and that's all too hot for the others on my way back to the pool just reflecting about this is one of the busiest wildlife game reserves in southern Africa and it's empty and it's December and it's school holidays and thanks to a nasty little bug called Omicron most people have stayed home very few people have done what we've done and packed Bruno the brown bus and jumped in and hit the road no bookings and traveled long distances to have game reserves, campsites, lodges, all to ourselves, practically. It's the front of the old fort. It's not open now because they're busy renovating the fort. And who knows how long that will take in Africa with COVID on the scene. And here we are, back at the place of rest. Back at the land kill. About mm, almost six o'clock in the evening. She's guarded this the whole day and they keep coming back to it and the two little cubs are tucking in. That's mommy. You can't quite see the cubs in the video. And the site is quite popular because the big guns have come out in front of us. Some really heavy equipment, an elderly couple from Germany. And the wind is blowing as you can hear, and it's probably going to rain again. And this is Monday evening and we're going to take a walk to the hide but um, as you can see the weather looks quite threatening and we are sure we're going to get rain tonight it's probably about half past seven the weather might chase us back but we'll come and have a look anyway Jackals are calling in the distance and here is the water and there it is floodlit. It's not dark yet. So it's not really effective yet, but I'm sure it will get more effective as it gets later. Some good strong electric fencing between us and the animals. Impalas and springers. Our camp cleaner. Her name is Lizzie. She picks up crumbs. Bits of dropped burrowos, anything else that you might offer her in return for a good cleaning service. Bye, Lizzie, we're packing up now. We might see you again in a few years' time. Go well.